All right, then before I start this challenge, I just want to give you guys a quick disclaimer that anything uh, you learn from these tutorials are just for educational purposes. This is just a CTF challenge, so nothing illegal is being done. So this is in a controlled environment in which you could practice freely. freely. And yeah, that's about it. Let's get started with this uh, Lord of SQL I challenge. So today's challenge that we're going to do is going to be called the uh, Lord of SQL I, and the challenge is going to be called Blue Dragon. So with this challenge, it's a bit different for the most part. And and as I mean why is the method we're going to use because uh, for this challenge we're going to be using time-based uh, SQL injection if you guys don't know what time-based SQL injection let's just do a quick Google search so time-based SQL injection it's very similar to our uh, error-based SQL injection but if we look at time-based is when the attacker sends a SQL query out to the database, which forces the database to wait for a specific amount of time before responding. So what we're going to do is we're going to send if at a certain point there's a valid query, then it runs for a specific X amount of time. And then, no, no, yeah. If the query is true that we send, then it runs a specific amount of time. And then if that specific amount of time runs, let's say, for example, let's say if our query statement is like uh, finding the length of the password, how we would usually do it. So something like uh, if we do notepad, let me go open this up right here. And then we just go uh, zoom this in. So we, we find the length of PW, how we were doing there. And then we have like an if statement. If the length of PW is equal to like what seven then it's gonna we're gonna do a sleep or a time a time based one where it just waits for like a x amount of time and if it doesn't it just runs it like regular it runs a regular query so what this would do if the length of pawn is equal to seven then uh it's gonna wait 10 seconds before it runs the query and then if it's not then it just does a regular query and then from our perspective, we could technically see if our request was sent or our query was sent. And then if we could check if it actually waited 10 seconds. And if at one point, and if at one point it equals to query sent, if the query sent was 10 seconds, then it must be true. So what we will do is probably like brute force this, uh, uh, brute force this starting from one and let's say that's not true so it's going to run a regular query and it's going to do it like very quickly and if it's two it's going to run it it's not true so it's going to run this part and it's going to send it very quickly and if it's and then we keep on doing this for every single digit until it becomes true at seven and if it's true at seven then it's going to sleep for 10 seconds and then since it sleeps for 10 seconds we could calculate that with our code to see how long it took for our request to send and then we grab this certain number and it's basically the same thing when we're doing um the substring part of it where we do substring uh pw is equal to like every single digit in the thing and then if it does we do a sleep for like um x amount of time and then if not it just runs a regular query and it does it quickly so that's basically it, but uh, I'm thinking our case is not sleep. So if we type type of SQL injection, if we look at this, uh, and we'll probably see some examples with time delay. So we just look at this one. Uh, solution. So P oh, right here, they use sleep. So yeah, we're gonna be using the sleep one, which I th I'm pretty sure I used for my code when I was doing this write-up. The reason why this was, will work, for example, okay, so, how we're gonna start off is we're gonna do a, a simple quotation mark. But if we run this, we see we get no hack. Now you see, but if you look if you look closely at the code, this no hack happens after we fetch our SQL query query. So technically, our SQL query will run first, and then we'll get the no hack, and that's how we bypass that. And what we're trying to get is the password field. For the most part so that's what we're trying to brute force our password field so i guess i'll explain my code what i have so i have it right here so if i do bat cat 
uh, blue dragon dot pi, and you see right here. So we find the length. So we start the length at one, and we do while because I'm guessing the password length is gonna be greater than one. So while true, this this could be a for loop too. I just have it as a as a while statement. So in my case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this query, pw. We're gonna send this specific query, and like I was saying before, very similar. But let's see, and then let's just to make it seeable for all of us. Okay, we can see it. So pw the quotation mark. You'll get no hack, but that's after after the fact. So we go or, and then we have this if statement. So it runs this if statement. If at admin and the length of the password is equal to this certain amount, it sleeps for three seconds, else it runs it as a regular query. So that's basically what that's doing. And after that, percentage 23 is just our hashtag. So we see right here, URL and query, but then we have a timer set in, in our case. And then we uh, then we sent it. Then we have a end time. So this calculates the time between is sent. And then if it's, if it's less than three, that means if the time that we sent it is less than three, that means that the query executed faster than three seconds. So that means that it wasn't true. So that means we increment our length. So in our case, uh, if you go back right here, this means that let's say if we started off with one, if this was false and it executed right away, then it'll just increment it back to two then to three, then four, then five, then six, until we find out that it's n not less than three. Once we find something that's not less than three seconds, then that means that we found our password length. And then after that, we start brute forcing our way through here with this for, uh, this for loop right here, which is basically the same thing that we've been doing in the other challenges. The only thing is that we just add this time statement just to check if the query in this case, if the query lasts more than greater than three seconds, that means we start adding it to our result, which is going to hold our password for the most part. And then after that, it passes the password length into the find real password. And this just does that. So if we just, if I demonstrate this Python three, uh, blue dragon, we will see that it's taking a while because right now it's, uh, trying everything. And then we're just waiting if the execution of it. So, we see we found the password length at eight. Now it's brute forcing the password. And like I said before, this is gonna take a while. So we're not gonna, I guess for the most part, uh, wait for this to brute force. I already have the answer already set. But like I said before, I'll link the my, my uh, code link down below. But like I was saying before, the only reason this worked for the most part is because the query is being sent first and after that we get no hack. So if no hack were to appear right here on top, we probably need to try some kind of escape like we were doing. So where I, like ID is equal to like something similar to like this. Oh no, you would get no hack either way. Oh, but that's, is that, uh, oh, that's for this one. Oh, but yeah, but still the same thing. We can still probably still, but if this was placed, so I guess one way to fix this is just placing this on top right here. This will probably stop the time-based query from my understanding for the most part. But yeah, I guess that was the main thing. Just noticing that this no hack happens after we fetch our SQL query. Because if, if, th if this was flipped the other way around, if these two were, if these two were first than this one, then I'm pretty sure our time-based SQL query would not work. And we don't have, it's not printing out any errors on our end. So yeah. So yeah, so anyway, it's yeah, it's still brute forcing the password. But like I said before, I already did this challenge. So the password I already have it right here. And uh, it's a bit different because uh, I added a few statements just to, I guess, understand it for myself. So we just entered a password here that we got from our code. And then we get blue dragon is cleared. So yeah, that was about it for this challenge. And let's see if it finished, but I doubt it. Yeah, it's still taking a while. Oh wait. They got some of it. So see, like, it's very similar to whatever we put it. But anyway, that was about it for this challenge for the most part. I heard you guys, I hope you guys learned something new today about time-based SQL query. And yeah, anyway, that was about it. And uh, see ya.